Hello, my name is Zon Leonard. Uh, I said I'd make a quick video on how to do a few tests to um, see if your driver is working or not. Um, so let's say you have a speaker and you're getting no sound out of your main driver and uh, you want to, to check it so that uh, you know, you're know you sure if it's the driver or not or you know it could be the wiring or it could be uh, the amplifier. So you know, you want to rule it out. Uh, so the first thing I do is uh, is I push down on the cone so what happens quite a lot is uh, there's a coil that's inside the magnet here that's attached to the cone itself a copper coil and uh, um, what uh, often happens is that that burns out and uh, it kind of uh, ends up um, getting a bit wider because of that and you'll hear kind of a scraping sound up and down on the cone if you move it now just be gentle doing that um, they're kind of, they're not the most robust things in the world. Uh, so the second thing to do uh, is to check um, the resistance. So um, the best way to do that is to set your multimeter uh, to ohms and anything that'll get you single digits. So, um, well, you'd want double digits really, but yeah, so uh, on this one here it's uh, set to 200. So that's perfect. So you just want to put in the contacts. Doesn't matter what way, it'll measure the same either way. So on this speaker uh, we're measuring 13.2 ohms. And this is a 16 ohm speaker, so that's perfect. There's a difference because uh, this checks for DC resistance and the resistance on the speaker is AC. I won't get into that right now, but uh, yeah, uh, if it's somewhere just under the uh, rated uh, resistance, then uh, you're fine. Um, there's another check you can do if you don't have a multimeter. Uh, you can use a 9 volt battery. Uh, don't be too worried, the 9 volts won't damage your, your speaker at all. So you just hold one side of the battery up to one terminal and then you just push the second one against the second terminal. You should hear a sound like that. You'll also see the speaker moving. So that's another test you can do. And that's pretty much it. So obviously this speaker is good. So I have another speaker here that I can show you Ooh, that isn't working at all. Now here we have a speaker that isn't working at all, so we can do some of the same checks. Now this one hasn't blown in a way that you can hear the copper coil rubbing. Um, so the first check wouldn't have worked in this case, but we can check the resistance. Oop. And this is an 8 ohm speaker. Get one of these in here so I can maneuver a bit. Oh, okay, so uh, there's nothing. It should just read uh, as if there's nothing, nothing connected at all, basically. So um, uh, the last test then is the nine volt battery, and there's no no life in here at all. So that tells me basically that this driver is dead. Um, now you can recone drivers and things like that, uh, for most cases now uh, there's no real point because replacement uh, drivers cost less. If you had a big 18 inch turbo sound 600 watt driver it might be worth it, but uh, it definitely wouldn't be worth it in this case. But um, yeah, so that's, that's it for this video, um, I hope that's helpful, thanks.